Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be an updated period storage for January 2023. Um, you can see it's now in this red box. Um, I've probably moved house now and I've finally got the chance to sort this out. Um, so it's um, all in here, This everything I have now. Uh, you'll see that I have nothing's really shrunk too much since my last period because I've actually bought a lot of reusable things. Um, I was hoping to do unboxing videos on them all, but I was far too busy and I had a couple of periods and I really wanted to try them. Um, so I never got around to filming the unboxing of them. Um, so yeah, and I have a period that's due soon and I love all my reusable stuff, but I am going to try and use some more of this stuff. Um, so I'll probably try and do a period vlog depending on how busy I am, which I shouldn't be too busy. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do something. You can see I've got all these bags on top. Um, so there's those ones, this one, these two, and then there's the overview of everything else. There is some stuff under here as well, but I'll get into that. Um, I will actually start with all this reusable stuff. Sorry if you can hear lots of noise in the background, my dog's um, cruising around. Um, so I'm going to start off with showing you the reusable stuff. This here is a Love Luna liner. Um, I got it, I think I got this in a haul maybe, I can't remember. I think I did show this one. Um, it's a bit dark in here, sorry. Um, yeah, that's the liner. I do love this one. Um, it's really nice. And I've been planning on getting some pads, but because I've got so many period undies, um, and cups, I haven't actually gone and got any pads yet. Um, so there's that one. These undies here, I believe, are the Tom Organics. Um, I can't remember what cut they are. I've got a few different cuts, but I can't remember which one it is. But they're the Tom Organics ones. These are the Uber Kotex by Thinks. Um, those ones. These are the Gigi brand, which is the same as that's a menstrual cup brand here in Australia. These ones are the Love Luna ones, which I'm pretty sure I got these in a haul. Maybe I can't remember. Really can't remember. Um, but yeah, I love this pair. I love all of these actually. Um, and these are the Libra ones. These are very different to the rest. Um, I do like them, but they're just different. So, um, yeah, they're a lot more plush or something. I don't know how to describe it. I'll probably do a video at some stage talking about all these. Um, back here I've got my cups. So this one is the Juju Low Cervix. This is what that one looks like. Um, I haven't actually given this one a go yet. Um, I've just been using period undies and um, I've been wanting to, like trying to get the hang of using these ones. Um, so I haven't got around to trying that one just yet because I was more curious about these two. Um, which this one is the Marula. I'm just going to open the bag up. This is what this one looks like. Um, this did have a longer stem but I had two more of these things but I cut them off. Um, I have got the bits that I cut off somewhere but I can't remember where I put them. Um, so this one's quite a different shape to the other one. I do like this one. Um, I did find it slightly odd to use. Um, I'll do a video talking about all of it when I get the chance, but I found it slightly strange to use. Um, I don't know how it compares to a tradition more traditional shaped menstrual cup, which I guess will be the Juju one, even though it's quite short, I think, to most cups. Um, I have seen like a normal cup. My, one of my friends has one. Um, and this is a lot like shorter and way wider, so that's partly why I haven't used this one because the top of it's really wide. Um, but yeah, and then the last one that I've got here is the Luma Disc. I'll just open the bag of this one up. So this one is the disc. Um, this one's inserted quite differently. It sits in the vaginal canal differently to a traditional cup. Um, this whole bottom section is completely soft. Most menstrual discs don't have a thing like this, um, but this one does. Helps to remove it. Um, I like this one. I've when I've gotten it to work, um, it, I find it works really well. Um, it's really comfortable, um, but it can be a little bit hard to make sure it's sitting in the right spot, which I struggled with the other one as well. But this one, I don't know. They're both so different, um, but I do love them. So there's those ones. They're covered in dog hair. Sorry, I usually wash them off before I use them, um, and boil them in between my cycles and things like that. But yeah, so that's all my reusable stuff that I have currently. So I'll get into everything in the box here that's a full overview so you can see i've got all my american stuff there but i will start with all my aussie stuff here up the back here i've got two of the ubicotex sport regulars two ubicotex designer series regulars 
one Yuba Cotex Ultra Thin Regular with wings. All of these will have wings, by the way. Um, these ones here, so here to here, are the Yuba Cotex Petite Overnights. This one is a Yuba Cotex Extra Regular with wings. These ones here are the Yuba Cotex Petite Regulars. A Stay Free Ultra Thin Overnight, a Stay Free Ultra Thin Regular with wings. These two are the Yuba Cotex Eco pads regular with wings Yuba Cotex 100% cotton regular with wings Oi Initiative or whatever it's called that organic brand um, regular with wings Tom Organic regular with wings they're ultra thin the Moxie Organics ultra thin regular the Me Organic ultra thin regular I don't know if these are sold anymore um, I haven't seen them again I don't go to Coles very often but I don't think I've seen them again down here, I've got some more of the Summer's Eve Daily Freshness Cleansing Wipes, Infant Cleansing Wipes, the Femme Fresh, I haven't opened this yet still, so, um, Femme Fresh Infant Care, the Moxie, Moxie uh, Slenders Pads, Tin, the original Moxie Pads, the Moxie Silks Pad Bag, Ubercotex Liner Pouches, Um, down there is the Moxie Organic um, Cotton Intimate Wipes. I really like those. These are the Moxie Mini Tampons. These are the old Moxie Organic Regulars with a couple of minis in there. These are the Gaia Natural um, Nappy Bags that I use as sanitary bags. These down here are the Oi um, organic Initiative Ultra Thin Liners. These are the Tom Organic Ultra Thin Liners. Moxie Organics Ultra Thin Liners. Me Organic Ultra Thin Liners. That is one Libra 100% Cotton Liner. That's two of them, sorry. This one is a Libra Double Liner. These are the Libra Ultra Thin Liners. Um, Ubercotex Nude in Black. Um, there's all inside there, but that's just the pouch of them. This is a pouch of the Ubercotex Designer Series. Um, Designer Series Protect Liners. Carefree, Active Fresh. I can't remember what scent they were. I'm going to guess Oxygen Scent. Um, Carefree Belly Bear G-String Liners. These are the Libra Girl Regular Tampons. Nearly out of those. These is, this is still unopened, um, your Bacodex Minis. These are the Oiga Nimble by Nature Mini Tampons. These are the Tom Organic Minis. So that is all of my Australian stuff. Um, so that was my foot. Um, as you can see, I'm running quite low on most of this stuff. Um, but I'm sort of trying to decide what products I actually want to restock on. Um, I do love most of them, but I do have some favourites. But I'm kind of stuck on which ones I should get. If you guys have any suggestions on what you should think I should get, what's your favourite, um, what you've loved seeing in my videos or something like that, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, so I can know you got what you guys are wanting to see in videos or what you think I should get. Because um, I have no idea what I want to restock on. Because um, a lot of these things, like especially liners, I would restock like most of them. Um, but I don't need that many. So I'm trying to pick which one is my favourite and which one I should get. 
Anyway, I'm going to move on to the American stuff that I've got here. So this is the Stay Free Ultra Thin Overnight. These are Stay Free Ultra Thin Regular Flow. This is a Stay Free Maxi Regular with wings. All of these have wings, um, unless I say otherwise. I can't remember if they don't actually have wings. There may be one or two that might not, um, but I haven't opened them. I haven't opened one, like something of everything, so I can't remember. Uh, these are the Saba Ultra Thin Regulars. That's a Mexican brand, but you can get them in the US now. This is a UK brand um, body form ultra thin. I think it was a heavy flow. This one may not have wings. I can't remember. I'll find out when I open it. These are, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure that they the UK code. Uh, sorry, not UK code. It's UK brand um, ultra thin sensitive. Always, always ultra thin sensitive. Maybe. I can't remember now, um, probably should have looked before I filmed this video, but anyway. All of these here are the always, um, pure cotton size 1, so regular flow. These are the always infinity size 1 regulars. These are the always infinity teen. I hope I'm getting names right, my brain is kind of fried right now. Uh, these are the always ultra thin slenders regular this is an always three in one liner these are the l brand so that's an organic brand um ultra thin liners these are the ubercotex security light days plus i think these are the carefree pure cotton or 100 percent cotton whatever they're called um long liners these are the always radiant Daily Freshness liners, I think they're called. I think they're old packaging too. These couple here are the Ubercotex Curves um, liners. That's the old packaging. And these are pretty much the same liners, but they're the Ubercotex Light Days Plus um, liners. Or Light Days, but I can't remember what they're called. Um, but yeah, that's the new packaging of these ones here. Up the back here, this is a Ubercotex Ultra Thin Security Overnight. This one is a, an ultra thin security heavy flow. So these two, I think, are, and then this is a Ubercotex Maxi Security Regular. Uh, I think it's old packaging. This is an ultra thin regular with old packaging, and these are the ultra thin regulars in new packaging. This is a Ubercotex um, Cleanwear Overnight, ultra thin Cleanwear Overnight. Um, these here, I think that's roughly about them, are uh, all the Ubercotex Clean Wear um, regular flow. These couple have slightly darker packaging and they have tabs on the wrappers. And these ones have paler packaging and no tabs. And I think the pads are slightly different. These are the Ubercotex Teen Extra Absorbency. Which, by the way, these Ubercotex Petite pads are pretty much the exact same as the Clean Wear pads. So that's really cool that you can get those in Australia now. Um, these are the really old school Ubercotex tween pads. These are an American product, but these are ones that you can buy in Australia. Um, they're just kind of here to hold everything in place. They're the Tentax Pearl Regulars. Tentax Pearl Compact Regular. Um, as for my tampons, these ones here are not American. They're just in here because they fitted in here. That's the Natural Care Organic Regulars um, applicator tampons. These two here are the Ubercotex Click Regulars, old packaging, Tampax Pearl Light, um, yeah, Tampax Pearl Light, the Just Period brand Light, these are the Playtex Sport Regulars, new packaging, and full packaging. So that is everything in my storage. Um, I hope to be filming a few more videos this year. I should have a little bit more time on my hands, um, hopefully. Um, so if you have any video requests or anything that you'd like to see on the channel, make sure you comment them down below. Um, you're always welcome to send me a message via Insta. My Insta is just at Aussie Periods. Um, I loved having a chat with all you girls. There's quite a few girls that I've had a chat with over the year. Um, almost been a year that I've been doing this channel. Otherwise, you can always send me an email too if you're not on Instagram, which is um, my email is at Aussie Periods. Sorry, Aussie Periods at gmail.com. I'll leave all of that in the description box down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.